look at what the media is doing to Republicans right now. Online extremists are ignoring Trump's call for calm. Really? Show me proof. A vast swath of the president's diehard base in Magna Nation, the conspiracy theorists, the militia members, conspiracy th- we're all put together now, and followers of the QAnon. In other words, anyone that doesn't believe the mainstream narrative. If we don't trust you, MSNBC, then we're part of that category. The problem with that is all of us now get to be labeled as domestic terrorists. Isn't that lovely? (laughs) I would put myself in the conspiracy theorist category because I definitely don't trust the news or any mainstream anything. I'm not a militia member. I don't follow QAnon, but, oh, and I don't vote, so why do I have to be lumped in with everybody else? The absence of a formal Trump concession to President-elect Joe Biden has emboldened their chatter and bolstered, bolstered their ideology. You know what, Trump people, just stand down. Let's not give them what they want. They want to label us as domestic terrorists. They're trying to set us up. They're trying to set us up. The people that are leading all of these demonstrations, the Black Lives Matters, the Back the Blue, they're all controlled opposition. Um, Put in place to... They're trained. These are trained experts. They're probably trained by the military, too. But they're trained to stir up your emotions, tell you what to believe, how to feel, what to think, how to act, what to do, make you puppets for their little games. More than a dozen flyers are circulating online advertising pro-Trump rallies. I don't believe that. I haven't seen any. Freedom is a right, one popular flyer reads. Refuse to be silenced, says another. I don't believe it. I just, I don't think it's a thing because I feel like it would have come across my news feed. I haven't seen anything about that. Just propaganda. This guy said he does not want violence to be the new normal. And what is that triangular all-seeing eye patch you're wearing? For those of you that know symbolism, notice the rainbow, notice the pyramid and the eyeball looking symbol in the center. We have an elite society that is running this entire world and they are all definitely working for Satan. You can't trust any of these people, and I wish I could think of the Bible scripture right now about not trusting the princes of the world because because they turn into dust and their plans turn into dust. You have to stick with Jesus Christ. Stick with your Bibles. Stick with Jesus Christ. Trump is not going to save us. This whole peace deal is in Revelations and or Revelation, and it's actually not a good thing. It's not a good thing because peace, to in order for this peace plan to work, the Christians get snuffed out. The Christians are the ones that just that are not going to work out with this whole peace deal. The Muslims, the Jewish people. The other religions, everyone's going to coexist and get along, but the Christians, the Christians actually are just going to change, and they're going to start worshiping a different Jesus and a different God that we never heard of before. So... Keep your eyes on Jesus, keep your eyes on the Bible, This is all just to show Trump is an actor, Biden is an actor, they're all playing their parts for the new world order, and it's biblical and prophetic, and we can't change biblical prophecy, but we can 
wake up to the truth.